there you go. I am a little bit of a crazy lunatic when it comes to the things I put in my body. Because it is. It's something we put into our body. It's, it's This is our health. This is us controlling our own health and not relying on uh, outside sources to do it for us. So... <laughs> Go. Breakfast with with me, you know, because everyone wants to know what I eat, obviously. So I eat very simple. I eat a lot of the same things day in, day out. I'm pretty good at eating the same thing over and over, like eating how I want to eat and not cheating and going into eating other crap. But I but I also live a normal life, right? So I'm like a 90, 10, 85, 15 type of guy, right? 85 to 90% of the time I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. 10 to 15% of the time I'm going to live my life like a normal human being and I'm going to have a pizza and I'm going to have, uh, you know, whatever else, you know, I'll have a couple drinks. But, you know, for the most part, I am pretty regimented about how I eat. And so uh, for the past two years, this is pretty pretty much the same thing every single time. I know it's really, really interesting. So I've been a quarter pound of ground beef. I don't weigh it, just kind of eyeball it. Um, I pan sear it in, a, in butter. Um, five eggs over easy. Again, just cooked in butter. Um, I don't cook in any sort of oils or anything like that. I'm trying to stay away from that kind of stuff. And, and then I have a ton of fruit in the morning. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been eating this way for a couple of years. I feel really good. Uh, I had to definitely play around with the amount of fruit and honey that I've had, do depending on the depending on the amount of working out I'm going to be doing. So, the more I'm working out, obviously, the more honey fruit I'm going to add into my breakfast. And if I know it's going to be a slower day, I won't have as much. And I've just found the fruit that I really enjoy, which is blueberries, bananas, oranges, um, raspberries, blackberries. A couple years ago, definitely was having, wasn't recovering as well. Definitely had a, added a little weight that I didn't want. All right, I need to make some adjustments. I was eating like an asshole. I was eating, you know, burgers pizza, burritos on uh, pretty much like a three day rotation. So once I learned a little bit more about carnivore diet, I was like, okay, this sounds cool. Talk to some people who have done it, who've tried it, uh, you know, some advocates of it. And uh, yeah, I was decided to give it a go. I immediately, I tried it for a couple days straight, pure carnivore where it was just red meat. Um, and I didn't feel good on that. So I made the adjustments back to the fruit, honey, eggs, uh, some raw dairy. I do have a little bit of raw kefir sometimes. Um, yeah, and I've just, uh, ever since then I feel good. My joints feel less inflamed. I recover well, I'm putting on muscle. Um, that was actually something I really struggled with when I was competing was actually eating enough. It was hard and I, and I didn't feel like cooking all the time. And so I would just go out and grab fast food or whatever was easiest mo and most convenient. And if you're trying to do this and you're really busy, having meal prepping is huge. I tend not to meal prep. I tend to make all my meals pretty much on spot. Um, you know, I like the way it tastes more. It's not the most convenient thing, but I have the time and flexibility to do that. Definitely been trying to do the, uh, you know, you know your pans, the kind of pans we use, you know, cast iron. Um, and this, I don't know what this brand is. I don't have any affiliation with it, but the wife got it. She said it's supposed to be non-toxic, you know, so I believed her. But yeah, I... Um, Where do you get your eggs? I just get them at the grocery store. I try to go for the, you know, the pasture raised organic eggs. Um, 
but I just, yeah, I get them at Whole Foods. I wish I had a place where I could have my own chickens. I would. That'd be awesome. Her mom does, and they are the best tasting eggs I've ever had. You want those bright orange yolks. These ones aren't that great, which I was kind of shocked. I don't know. They said they were pasture raised, organic, regenerative farming. Maybe it's all bullshit. I don't really weigh or measure anything. You know, the quarter pound of ground beef, that's pretty simple. Like, cause I, I get my ground beef in pounds. And so I basically just pull out what looks like to be about a fourth of that. My honey is raw. I mean, it's pretty simple. So I start my morning with my coffee and then I have my breakfast, five eggs over easy pound of ground beef, just salt, only salt on there. I'll do a banana with honey, orange, blueberries. I'll just keep eating until I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good amount. Water with salt. And then after I have this, I'll have my second coffee. So, and then I'll typically go work out then. Um, yeah, really simple. And this is every single morning and this has been this way for a really long time. I cut out oats. I basically heard that grains, you know, they're just covered in glyphosate or pesticides, things like that. Oatmeal really isn't that great for you. Everything about the carnivore diet is funny because it's everything that we've been opposite of everything we've been taught our entire lives, right? Greens aren't that good for you. Uh, grains aren't that good for you, you know? Um, and it's always been for me, I still struggle with it a little bit. You're like, oh, should I maybe, should I add some stuff back in? But I really feel so much better uh, these past two years. You know, I'm leaner, bigger, and I don't work out as much. Um, I've slept better when I started eating this way. My anxiety has pretty much gone away, um, which that was really strange. I, I didn't really, you know, understand exactly why that was, but I do know that I'm allergic to all grass and tree pollen. So in my mind, when I was eating veggies, I'm like, how is this much different than grass and tree pollen? So I don't know. I don't know if there's a correlation there or not. That was just kind of where my brain went, but it has really helped an insane amount. Um, I used to have really bad anxiety and uh, yeah, pretty much gone. So I don't know. I don't know if this is the best way to eat or not, but I have really enjoyed it. It wasn't a hard sell for me. Everything that I eat on a daily basis is something that I really like. I like, I love red meat. I love steaks. I love ground beef. I love eggs. I love honey. I love most fruits. So it wasn't like, oh, this is going to be a hard diet for me. No, this is pretty simple. I also, I don't have any relationship with food. I don't have cravings like a lot of people do. Like my, and my wife, she, she's like, oh, I really want this tonight. And it's funny, I, in my head, I'm like, I don't really ever have those feelings. Like, I just want to fuel my body. I use my food as my fuel, right? So that I can do the things that I want to do and train the way I want to train and look the way I want to look. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this now. Hope you guys like this little tidbit. We will, we can do a day uh, or a lunch dinner as well to show you guys pretty much how I eat. So So what exactly is the strict carnivore diet? So strict carnivore is just red meat. Like that's it. Um, so you eat red meat for all of your meals. And so you don't have any fruit. You don't have any honey. I'm not even sure if eggs, eggs might be allowed in it. But yeah, same. You're going to cook in um, tallow or butter. You're not going to use many seasonings, basically just salt. Um, is there, yeah, but they, they're showing a lot of really great research with it helping with a lot of, cure a lot of diseases. And the interesting one was I listened to a podcast where a doctor is advocating the carnivore diet. Uh, they, they did it on a dog that had all these tumors all over its body and they put the dog on a strictly carnivore diet and all of the tumors went away. And so it was pretty wild, um, you know, Again, I'm not a doctor or scientist, but, um, you know, it's just really interesting to me how we get told certain things or why we get told certain things. And you, know, you can go down these rabbit holes of, you know, doctors who get paid to, t t to say certain things or pharmaceutical companies, right, create medicines that help certain things. So obviously they want you to hear, hey, we can get your cholesterol down with this pill right? You don't want, so cholesterol can become bad. You know, it's just, it's interesting. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to figure it all out on my, I guess, 
figure out myself so I don't have to rely sometimes on other people. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a uh, the carnival diet's an interesting diet for sure. You know, but how many times when you're growing up, right, everyone's like, "Oh, eat your greens, your greens, your greens, your greens," and then, man, I'll tell you what, I got rid of them and I feel better. <laughs> it's weird. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's all bullshit. Maybe it's all in my head. It's a lot like the cold tub where people want to tell you, oh, there's no science behind the cold tub. All it does is make you get cold. And I'm like, have you ever done it? Because before I knew any of the research about how much dopamine it releases and how you get the neuroepinephrine and all that thing, the heart, the easiest way to, for me to describe it to people when I got out was for the next 30 minutes, I feel the best I've felt. My mood is so good. I'm in such a good mood. For that purpose alone, I'm going to continue to do it, even if it doesn't isn't technically doing anything for me. And then all the research starts coming out. Yes, it is doing this and it is doing this. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I get exactly. I'm going to go based on feel. Eat your eggs and your beef and then what? You just like crush the blueberries by the handful? Exactly. Yep. Blueberries are, it is, it's, it's, I do kind of do it in the same order too every day. I do the meat and eggs, <clears throat> the blueberries, and then the orange. And then I do the, the banana with honey <clears throat> because it's my favorite part. And I want to save it for last. It's kind of like my dessert. And um, yeah, that banana honey, well, you find raw unfiltered honey. Whew, that's good stuff right there. All right. Fruit in Colorado. The fruit is not the same as California. <laughs> it definitely is more seasonal here. Where if it's out of, I feel like if it's out of season here, or if it's not in season, it's just crap here. Where in California, I don't know. I felt like you could always get good fruit. It's kind of weird. And when blueberries are in season, whoo. And they taste kind of jammy. It's my favorite. Mm. Car, car, one just just have like a great fruit, fruit flavor. I hope you're enjoying this because I am, because these are delicious. How much time between breakfast and your first workout? Yeah, I don't, I don't need that much time. I have a pretty tough stomach. Uh, I don't need to wait like even an hour, but right after this, I'll have. Uh, another coffee typically. And so I'm probably training within, I'd say right, right around 45 minutes of ending or stop eating. So, you know, for some people they don't like to, they like to eat their breakfast after or way before. I don't know. I don't have any issues with it. My food digests fast or something, but, but my stomach's fine. You know, it's different if I was probably eating lunch or dinner but breakfast for some reason, like, I, yeah, I just don't have any issue. So they say, this is a fun little fact about bananas. I didn't know this. Um, my wife's family went to, I believe, Costa Rica. I don't know, somewhere down in Central America. And they're saying how you don't want to eat the tops or the, bot or the very bottom of the banana because they throw most bananas into a room and then basically bomb them with this, you know, I'm going to guess what a pesticide is, and it can leak into the top and the bottom. So removing the top little portion of the banana and the bottom portion is something you want to do. I don't know. Again, could be complete bullshit, but I do it. Man, this, is, oh, this honey's a little crystallized today. It's all right. So normally I like my honey that's runny, and um, for some reason this year's batch, they say crystallized, and so... You can't heat it up in the water. I tried to. It just didn't do much. So I'll just eat the honey and then eat the banana. So how long does it take you to go through a jar of honey like that? Oh, not long. We literally will, will go through this in probably like a month, maybe a month and a half at the most. So not long. We like our honey, me and the boys and... Sydney, so 
Yeah, it's honey doesn't last long around here. Just like meat doesn't last long around here. Paul Saladino is where I get a lot of my information. Um, I just, I think I just trust him. It seems like he's trying to put out good information for people. And he talks about dairy, how it should be raw and unpasteurized. And in the United States, for most part, it's not really allowed. But if you, in Colorado, I think the only way you can get raw milk is if you actually own the cow or something like that. And so you have to, there's a couple of spots where you literally have to sign like a contract saying like, hey, I'm taking a share of this cow. <laughs> and then they'll give you their raw milk. And I tried the raw milk for a little bit. I didn't drink it enough to continue to buy it, so I stopped. But I believe that they'll do raw butter as well. So I might try that. But I, I basically just get the, um, you know, pasture-raised cows, organic pasture-raised cow butter. It's probably, again, who knows? I don't know if it's real good or not but whatever <laughs> i think it's better than seed oils i'm not a fan of seed oils i don't cook in any oils i know uh, olive oil can be good but a lot of olive oil in the united states is garbage and um cut up with crap other seed oils so um yeah i cook in butter I have like i said for two years butter tallow ghee and i love it i definitely wake up every morning and drink, um, I believe this is about either 24 or 32 ounces. I can't remember which one. This uh, Yeti cup. And I don't drink. I try very hard not to drink out of plastic. Again, you know, just glass. Uh, the Mountain Valley glass here. So we get these jugs. Um, and I put some electrolytes in the water. I try to drink at least one of these immediately following waking up. Um... And then I'm trying to drink as many as I can throughout the day. It's definitely something I struggle with is not drinking enough water. I always kind of feel slightly dehydrated, but, you know, I'm drinking at least probably seven, seven of these a day. So, you know, with the working out up here at altitude, the 5,000 feet that I live at, you know, it's definitely just different too. You know, you're going to be more dehydrated at altitude. So drinking more water is imperative. So... I try to, not something I always get, but yeah. And then yeah, stop, stop drinking a crappy plastic either. Get your Yeti cups. And um, I don't have any affiliation with Mountain Valley, but you know they have glass bottled water uh, at stores that you can buy. It's actually not any more expensive than the same. If you were gonna get a bottled water at the store that was plastic or glass, they're pretty much the same price. So. You know, you don't drink the water out of the tap. Don't drink tap water. Tap water's crap. Somehow, uh, the dentists convinced our government to put fluoride in our water, and it's not good for you. So, <laughs> that's there you go. I'm a little bit of a crazy lunatic when it comes to the things I put in my body. Because it is. It's something we put into our body. It's This, this is our health. This is us controlling our own health and not relying on uh, outside sources to do it for us. So, you know, water's important. Don't drink out of plastic, put a little electrolytes and drink as much as you can, right? Uh, putting salt in your water is very important, right? We can't just hydrate with just pure water. So got to put a little bit of salt in it. I normally do an espresso, but lately I've been enjoying like a second small cup of coffee. <laughs> I know it's super interesting. Who doesn't want to talk about coffee? Me, I do. That's who wants to. Again, recap, five eggs over easy. I try to go with organic eggs. I only cook them in butter or tallow or ghee. Um, quarter pound ground beef. Uh, that is, again, just cooked in butter with salt. I'm gonna do a banana, some raw honey, oranges, and blueberries, and that is my breakfast. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to pay the man.